What is up, people? How's it going? This is Bharat, and welcome back to yet another video on the Kiwi MD OpenCV series. So, for this video, we're going to be looking into making a simple watermark remover application. So, in no way am I uh, teaching you guys to actually make or copy illegal stuff. But if you really want to remove an over redundant watermark in your uh, in your image, you can do this with Kiwi MD and OpenCV. So, let's get started. This video is sponsored by An Academy. Whether it is mastering DSA or system design or full stack development for interview preparation, An Academy has you covered. Here you also have access to all the free live classes that are taken up by the best educators from top product companies. More importantly, you also have doubt solving sessions every three classes and also a separate doubt support on Discord where teaching assistants as well as the educators themselves clear your doubts. More importantly, a structured learning path with a course plan designed specifically to help you in upskilling and also cracking all the crack code interviews. Find the relevant batch details information in the description below. Use my promo code CODERMONG to get access to all the free resources as well as get 10% off on a subscription. Alright, so we got left off uh, somewhere around here from the base application. So we've been doing OpenCV KVMD for more than five, six applications now. So if you are, are new, new here, I would highly recommend you guys to watch the first video from this series. So what we have is a very simple build method where the build method now has an image holder and a simple button. Now, what we're going to do now is to have an image with a watermark present. So I already have an image like that. Uh, this is something that I created by myself. I didn't want to take any of the stock images so that it's going to get flagged by the copyright. So this is the image that I have right now so you can see that this is something like a coder monk watermark that i created by myself and there are a couple of informations here so if you have something similar to this and you don't have access to the uh, the watermark image itself meaning that this is some a simple icon right and uh, if you don't have access to this you can very well just go and take your image and just crop this port part out and you are pretty much done and what i've done is i've done the same here i've actually created the watermark and then added that to a simple image that is similar to this all right so this is going to be the watermark image and this is going to be the main image and what you can see is that uh, the image is present somewhere here it needn't be present here it can be present anywhere and what we're going to write our application is automatically going to take care of that so what we're going to do now is to just uh, try to have the source image and have the watermark image right next to each other and we're going to be using the same as well so for the image here let's load the source image as my main img.png so this is going to be the image that we have right here right so this is going to be like a simple image that's going to show and when i click this button uh, when i just click on button this button i want to just remove the watermark there are a couple of techniques that you can do and uh, to be honest there isn't like a once one place or one solution for watermark removal there are a few other complex stuff that you can do and there are a few other simple stuff that you can do and what i'm going to do now here is to have two source image or one source image which is going to be the main image and one watermark image so the source image is going to be a cv2 dot im read and i already know that my image is actually going to have that so i'm just going to have pick out the source from that so i i have a local uh, local image and just read it the next thing is to have a, a mask created the mask is basically the wm.png right just have the mask created by just doing the same again i am i am read and you'll just uh, have the mask as wm.png all right and make sure to pass it as read it as im read dot underscore gray gray scale great so you have the source red we have the mask red so what next we're going to do is just have the height width and the underscore and we're going to just read the shape of my source uh, why exactly am i doing it if you take for this example both the shape and the source are of the same size uh, 1920 by 1080 but in case that you have a different size for your watermark image or you have a different size for your main source image uh, the application will just say that the source and your mask is not the same size so we need to make sure to resize our mask image to fit the source image so what i'm going to do now is just to say mask is equal to cv2 dot resize make use of the resize method pass the mask one quick change here is that when you read your shape it's going to be height width and blah 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 information but when you are trying to resize it it has to be width comma height and that's like a, a small change that you need to make sure or keep in mind when you're doing it so once your resizing is done we're going to be making use of the main method so i'll just uh, create it as the destination and this method is called as in paint now in paint is a cv2 uh, specific method which is recently has been added 
this amazing method does very very what we want to do it basically removes all the uh, information that we have as part of our mask and creates a new destination image so all you need to just pass your source your mask followed by the amount of threshold information and you'll just say cv2 dot in paint dot ns so just go and say this method to get more information it says that it is asking for a 8 bit 16 bit or 32 bit we make sure to have both of them in that dot uh, that order followed by that you also have to pass your in paint radius and i'm just keeping it as small as possible just keeping it at to three followed by that we also have the uh, in uh, what is the type of in paint that you want to do uh, so that's pretty much it you have done uh, the in painting it is automatically going to take care of removing your watermark but given the fact that we already have the destination we can either do i am right um, but i'm not going to do that because i want to now change my image and uh, just to load my destination so that it comes back to the screen so if you're like confused as to what i'm saying again watch back the first video because we have done an extraordinarily in-depth in understanding of what exactly are you going to be doing with kiwi md and open cv so just get started just say buffer is equal to cv2.flip and we'll have the destination comma zero dot to string followed by that we'll just say the texture is equal to uh, texture dot create we just created a new texture with the size is equal to the destination shape of one uh, followed by the destinations dot shape of zero again something that i told uh, the height and width has to be replaced that is something that is actually a mistake you can consider so just say texture dot bleed buffer this pretty much takes care of uh, replacing our buffer image and the buffer pass the buffer and just say buffer format is equal to u byte if you leave it as such itself it's automatically going to be uh, u byte by default finally just say self dot image dot texture is equal to replace it with our texture so basically when you click this button it will automatically remove the uh, the watermark from the image and replace it in our image or create a new image all right now let's just run the main method right here just say main and it'll just say main app of dot run and we're pretty much good to go just run this application and we will see what happens great so what we have is the image that i showed you which is the main image from here and now it's time to check if it is actually doing the in painting work clearly click this voila it's gone that's how you pretty much do the watermark removal and it is not seriously this straightforward in most of the cases i know that there are a lot of uh, watermarks where it's the opacity is less and things like that the cv2 in paint catches most of that i would say up to 90 percent of that and there are a few things that you cannot do without a source image and in case you want a source image just crop that portion out alone and drop it into a simple back black background run this application and voila your your background images are removed your watermark is removed and you have a destination image in on your hand so that's how you do your basic watermark removal i hope this video is informative for you guys if you did find it informative don't forget, forget to drop a like subscribe to this channel and wait for more content on kvmd lot of different stuff as well i'll see you guys in the next video until then Bharat, peace out have a super awesome day